it's crazy, bro. Um, it's like it's it's like my parents knew like what they, they seen something in us, so like they didn't give up on us, you know. Um, even like the tournaments we didn't we wouldn't win. The next day we would get back home, we we'll go to the gym, and we'll you know we'll get back you know get back on the grind and work work on what we had to work on, but. Man, like my parents never gave up on us, bro. Like they kept, like they kept us focused. They kept taking us to tournaments. They kept believing in us, and I, I thank them for that. You know, weeks into their their training, I saw how hard they would work, and you know, I would get home from work, and they would be excited to go to the gym, and you know be waiting for me to get home with their stuff packed and ready to go and their mom and I just you know we always believe that this that was happening now is possible like they worked kept working hard and we kept pushing them and supporting them we had a feeling that you know this could be the outcome of stuff and that's why we kept we kept pushing man Bam lost like his first three, his first two fights, and as an amateur, and we were like, "Hey, Bam, if you don't want to do it anymore, you know, it's fine. You just," and he just kept like, "No, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this." Yeah, like his fourth fight, he won like a little J.O. tournament, the regional. He won, so uh, Josh, maybe, I think Josh won like his first fight, and then he maybe lost like two, and he won like. Uh, they both won ringside, and after they after they won the ringside, we were like, hey, you know what? These kids are they're pretty they're not bad, you know they're pretty good. I think I said it before. We we bet the house on it, man. We were like literally like we wouldn't pay the house so we could take them to the tournaments, and you know we did what we had to. We just we were all in. That's why I think I, I told you earlier. You know we talked to Josh, and school wasn't for him. He said, you know what, Josh, you don't want to go to school. That's that's fine. But you're gonna give me 100% in boxing, and he did. And the rest, like I said, look, look at where he's at now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we we we, we would struggle, you know, to to get to tournaments and stuff, and. You know, there was times where we would come up from tournaments and the fuck, the lights would be off. Like we would have, you know, some light. Sometimes water would be off. And but you know, we, we you know we would do anything, you know, to get to those tournaments. You know, try to get our name out there and to get that experience. You know, and um, it, I feel like all, all of those, you know, experiences, you know, they 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 got us to where we are. You know, they showed us, you know, that grit. They showed us that that dedication, and you know, it paid off. <coughs> kids winning world titles is special to me but that one meant a little bit more and that's just because of you know I knew as a dad what Josh had gone through what he was going through and when he won bro I was like I cried in the back you know like it was crazy like and I talk about it still and I and it still kind of makes me want to like it's don't even want to cry like seriously I tell them I tell the boys like this is their destiny like God put them here to do this you know and and as parents, it was our job to make sure that we did what we had to for they could, you know, use the gift that God gave them. was possible with this happening you know and it's I'm not a big church guy but I believe in God and I and I and I believe that God has them here for this reason and you know and they're they're making the best of it we are here with Bam Rodriguez and his brother the professor Joshua Franco What's up? For people watching this video who have never seen you, don't know who you are, what do you tell them? 
just keep an eye out. Um, I'm going to do big things and I'm going to try to impress everybody.